final example, I wanted to look at another limit that does not immediately fit the L'Hopital's rule form, but that can be rewritten in a L'Hopital's rule form. So first of all, recall that cotangent of x is cosine of x over sine of x, and that cosecant of x is 1 over sine of x. And notice that as x approaches 0, sine of x approaches 0. And each of these fractions is therefore involving a division by 0. And so we are getting something like a type infinity minus infinity sort of situation. If I imagine that x is approaching 0 from the positive side, then we are getting a positive infinity minus positive infinity sort of situation. If x was approaching 0 from the negative side, I'd have to think for just a moment about what would be happening there. Here's what the sine wave looks like. Here's what our cosine wave in that numerator looks like. And I guess if x was approaching 0 from the negative side, we would have a numerator that would be positive and a denominator that would be negative. And I guess in that case, we would have a negative infinity plus infinity sort of thing. So depending on whether we think of x as approaching 0 from the right or the left, we could have an infinity minus infinity or a negative infinity plus infinity type of form. Both of these types are indeterminate because we don't know which big result is larger than the other. So normally something minus itself is 0, but infinity is not a number. And so we don't know if the first huge quantity is bigger than the second, or the second huge quantity is bigger than the first. This is indeterminate, and we'll have to find a way to use L'Hopital's rule. So with that introduction, let's look at this original limit and see what we can do. So I need to get to type infinity over infinity or 0 over 0. Let's try to do this subtraction and see if we can rewrite things in a way that will help us. So cotangent of x is cosine of x over sine of x. Cosecant of x is 1 over sine x. We have a common denominator. Let's do the subtraction. And we'll have cosine of x minus 1 over sine of x. And now let's pause and look at what sort of limit this is. As x approaches 0, cosine of x approaches 1. So cosine of x minus 1 approaches 0. And then sine of x is approaching 0 as x approaches 0. So we have type 0 over 0 form here. And so this is all set for L'Hopital's rule. So we'll apply L'Hopital's rule. And let me put a note here that we are about to actually apply L'Hopital's rule since we did so much preparation on this limit. So we'll take the derivative of the numerator and denominator each separately and get opposite of sine of x divided by cosine of x. And now we'll reconsider. And so notice that as x approaches 0, we have a numerator heading to 0 and a denominator heading to 1. And so a 0 over 1 type of thing is no longer indeterminate and a 0 over 1 type of thing just goes to 0. Now this is what you might have guessed thinking about an infinity minus infinity type of thing. But infinity minus infinity is indeterminate. It can lead to anything, a positive result, a 0 result, a negative result, a positive infinity, a negative infinity. It just happened that in this example, this infinity minus infinity form did add up to 0. And so our final conclusion here is that this limit is 0. I wanted to just move this one arrow saying that it was at this step that I then applied L'Hopital's rule to get down to there. We then noticed that we no longer had an indeterminate form and that what we did have was a limit going to 0.